again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the unofficial Slim LP Alpha 0.9 for Galaxy S3 so yes you heard it right Slim LP is here although unofficial we have a working version of Slim ROM with L uh, Lollipop for Galaxy S3 so yeah that is really cool um, okay this is still alpha so it's not going to be perfect in any stretch of the imagination but it is a start right so let's get into the ROM now first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is the of uh, is the normal slim lock screen you can see all of those functionalities you can swipe uh, to the left for camera and to the right for uh, call Let's go into the launcher now. This is the standard launcher which comes with the LP, so you are going to have a lot of options there. It's pretty cool. We have all the, we have all that. Now, uh, being a slim ROM, normally slim ROMs are considered as uh, something different other than uh, Cyanogen Mode or something like that. But uh, this this one does not really have a lot of slim features built into it, uh, like the uh, slim dark mode or something like that it doesn't really have a lot of slim features into it but this is a start so yeah this is just an alpha version 0.9 so keep that in mind um, so yeah let's get into the uh, settings menu now first of all in the settings you can see in the about phone page you can see it is 5.0.1 which is cool so yeah slim version is uh, alpha 0.9 unofficial released on this date so just so you, ca you guys can know it is all there it's pretty neat it's really working uh, the only issues there are a few issues which I'll get into later so yeah um, so what does this one have extra so LP settings you know a lot of things are integrated right now a lot of which were on uh, other ROMs like Cyanogen mod are now integrated like the heads up display and something like that all of those stuff uh, it they are uh, integrated into, into the lollipop stock ROM now. So what does this uh, offer extra? Let's go into the interface settings. Now in the interface settings you have quick settings which is quick pull down. You can pull from the right to get uh, these uh, stuff. So yeah you can get the quick stuff from there. So that's really cool. Smart pull down if there are no dismissible, no persistent or uh, there, if there are no dismissible or persistent it will directly go into the quick settings rather than you having to go for a uh, blank screen so that's that's there pretty cool uh, what else do we have now in the interface settings again status bar options are also available you do have clock and date settings you can have center clock uh, it does not have the fun settings which uh, I really appreciate having because I really like the condensed funds introduced in the KitKat ROMs so yeah we have we do have a lot of customization though uh, you can change the date style date format also if you want longer a date day everything like right there so you can have that notification ticker is really cool notification ticker animation in the status bar so you can have that so that's the ticker animation which is going to be there uh, it's really cool you can have that you can really use that double double sleep so that is it in the interface settings uh, that is it in the, the extra settings which the ROM provides uh, is that enough maybe not uh, but slim ROM is always a really great ROM to have a performance oriented ROM now how does this ROM perform it does perform better than other lollipop ROMs out there uh, in the entry to benchmarks I'll get to the benchmarks first later so I'm not I'm not going to spoil the surprise it's pretty cool um, what else do we have now now let's uh, say let's get into the problems now okay first of all uh, Wi-Fi does work I didn't really have any Wi-Fi problems uh, the data does work I can make calls and it does work out uh, I have called my customer care service it does work out I'll show you guys that yeah and the proximity sensor does also work out so you can hear that right so yeah uh, call works data works I have lost quite a bit of money in this I haven't flashed the real package but still the data works uh, I'm not really sure if you have a problem with that uh, then what else do we have now uh, there there is a problem with Wi-Fi like um, if you go into the settings menu like let's go and if you turn it off and if you turn it on 
okay it's connected sometimes what happens is that it doesn't connect it doesn't even show what all Wi-Fi is available uh, this time it does work but sometimes it does work uh, doesn't work I'm not sure why it doesn't but uh, it has something to do with the uh, Wi-Fi chip in the S3 so yeah I'm not really sure about that either video player is a huge issue right now the codecs are not supported uh, if you record a video even recordings doesn't work uh, I have a few recordings right now let's see if that works uh, I'll play this the sound plays but the video does not play so it seems to be a problem with all the lollipop ROMs I'm not really too uh, problematic about it you can still use MX player for uh, playing those things you can use MX player for that so it is available you can uh, use the software decoder and uh, have that playing the only problem is with the YouTube videos if you're playing into lower resolution it doesn't really work you get uh, weird lines and stuff like that so yeah it is there so now I'll show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool it's a new slim rom loot animation I'll show you guys that so here is the boot animation for the slim rom uh, slim LP I guess so we do have that it's a really beautiful good animation I want to I want to show you guys the end of this it's kind of like what they did with the KitKat uh, Nexus boot animation yeah you actually know that the boot animation is coming to an end with that text so that is really cool um, yeah. so uh, I, I want to show you guys the camera or uh, app which is bundled with the software so this is the stock camera app it does work right now so that is really cool so you can see the stock camera does work uh, you can record videos um, it is available it's really cool you can actually uh, have selfies also with the camera uh, video selfies do have a few problems I'm not really sure about why that is but there are a few problems with that uh, video selfies let's see if that is working uh, no yeah that there is a problem with that it's not working uh, but yeah it will be fixed sooner or later so yeah even though the camera works I'm not really sold on the stock camera experience because it is kind of light uh, I would rather do go download the Google camera app from the Play Store and use that so yeah uh, that is there what else do we have now let me show you guys the unto the benchmark score which is pretty surprising for me because this is the first lollipop rom which has gone above 2500 25000 um, so yeah it's not much but uh, I, I i actually run two scores the first one was 25033 the other one was 25400 uh, which for some reason wasn't verified by unto to benchmarks because of a few problem with my uh, network so yeah i guess that is there um, so yeah uh, that is it with the ROM uh, features now this is this has always been one of the performance oriented ROMs and this is one of the better battery friendly ROMs available I'll show you guys the battery life also because that is something to talk about in this ROM this does give me a better battery life than something else something other than the uh, some other lollipop ROM like the Resurrection Remix Resurrection Remix is a great ROM everything works but the battery so this one is like everything may not work but the battery is better than that so yeah I just want to show you guys that uh, if these guys can nail down on the battery this might actually be a really good daily driver for the S3 in the coming future so that's really cool um, what else do we have now uh, you can see I have been using a ROM here and not using the phone here but uh, even though I'm not using it, it is actually draining. So yeah, I cannot say this is the best battery life. But out of the lollipops which we have, this may be, may, this may last longer than the others. So yeah. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. I uh, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.